um, today I will go to demonstrate procedures in making the common electrical joints and splices. But first, let us be familiarized with the electrical tools and materials needed in making electrical joints and splices. First, we have the combination plier. We have the long nose plier, side cutting plier, and the material is number 14 solid wire. But most importantly, in making electrical joints and splices, we must have the PPE or the personal protective equipment, which is wearing of gloves. Join. We need to have two bearers. Whereas we already remove the insulator of it, about five inch long. Then put it together in a cross position. Using the, the combination plier. Hold it together, then twist it about six to eight turns. Then, using the long nose plier, twist it together to tighten the joint. When you reach the edge of the wire, cut the excess wire using the side cutting plier. Now, we have already the rat tail joint. joint we need to have two wires the first wire is the main wire wherein the insulator was removed this way and the other wire is the top wire wherein the insulator was removed like this after that Put the top wire above the main wire. Then hold it using the combination plier. Then twist the top wire around the main wire. Use long nose plier to tighten the joint. Now we have the plain top joint. Western Union short tie we need two straight wires wherein the insulator was removed this way 
then put the two wires in cross position mid halfway of insulation then twist it about two to four times using the combination plier hold it the end of the wire turning it in clockwise position use the long nose pliers to twist it then repeat it on the other side by turning it in counterclockwise direction Now we have the Western Union short tie. In making Western Union long tie, we also need two straight wires. The same procedure with the Western Union short tie. The only difference is that the Western Union long tie, we're going to twist it about 4 to 6 times. Then, use the combination plier to hold the wires. Then, Twist it again in a clockwise position. Then repeat it in the other side. The only difference between Western Union short tie and a Western Union long tie, the Western Union short tie was twisted about two to four times. Unlike to the Western Union long tie, it, it was twisted about four to eight times. So, we twist it counterclockwise. Use the long nose plier. Be careful in twisting the wire because it can harm you. So we have we have now the Western Union long time. See the difference between the Western Union short tie and the long tie. And now, in making the cross joint, we need three wires. The first wire the insulator was removed like this and the other two wires the insulator was removed this way and we make a cross position the first wire 
will be twisted clockwise and the other wire will be twisted counterclockwise. Then we do the first one. The same procedure in making the plain top joint. Using the combination plier, hold it, then going to turn it slowly. Then we will do the other wire. Place it in the side of the first wire. Same procedure. Twist it very slowly. Twist it carefully. Then we have now the cross joint. 